Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, this is another unboxing video. Um, I got some stuff from Tropical Isopods because I wanted to get some other varieties of isopods. Um, I got some wood for these guys. I got some more leaf litter. And this is already open because I was removing the... Um, the invoice and then I was removing the packaging labels that were on the outside of the big box and I saw the invoice was in here it wasn't on this one but it was like resting on top of it and I'm like I'll just open this to make sure there isn't another invoice inside um which there wasn't um I'm really excited though because these are two Cubaris species that I do not have and I figured this would also be kind of a review as well to an extent um, the cold packs are still cold. Everything's looking pretty good. Um, let's see where they are. I will just take a gander at them. So, as you can see, I got a five count of white duckies and a five count of ambers. Um have anything that I can just clip my phone to? Hmm. I had like a stand, but I don't think I have any thing. Oh, hold on. I will simply pause recording and then grab something to sit this on. All right. I jerry-rigged something because I found out my selfie stick uh, was torn asunder <laughs> during one of my last excursions. So, um, kind of sucks because that was like the last one that I could find. I'm just hoping that this doesn't fall over. But we're just going to take a look. Make sure the isopods are all doing good. I open the ambers first. These are both five counts. Oh, oh, they're big. They're a lot bigger than I was expecting. That's kind of cool. Um, so I've never bought isopods online before. So I was like really worried of how this would go. There's none in this leaf. Oh, there's one right there. There's two, three. Okay, so there's four. So there's one more in here. These are cool. Okay. Um, I will just put these in here. They're all looking good. Um, I'm not worried about that last one. I'm sure if the, the rest of these are fine, um, then that one is as well. I also have a bin already prepped for them. I have a tub for each of these guys, as well as some decaying detritus that I purchased. So, I'll just put that over here in the background and I'll move some of this stuff off of the top actually except for the detritus and the eggshells because I'll be adding that oh and the cuddle bone okay yeah I'll just I'll leave most of this stuff here um doesn't fall um yeah so i'm excited um cubars ambers are pretty cool um i think color wise they'll complement the opals i have not that i'm putting them together just for my own visual appeal and then the white duckies i'm also super excited about um just because they're oh there's one a big one right on top oh man these are a lot bigger than i was expecting beautiful oh wait cameras on this side whoops god they are beautiful that is cool um man that makes me happy they're all like they're all doing well um i was really worried just because arizona is kind of hot but um you know tropical ice spots did a great job packaging them up um i ordered this leaf litter and this wood as well that I'll be putting in their tubs as well as some detritus and some 
um, cuddle bone. And then I also use eggshells for an extra source of calcium in case they're picky. Um, and then my fiance gave me some pelletized limestone for me to use um, for my opals. Um, but yeah, so I'll just go over my packing list. I won't show it. Well, maybe I will. Yeah, I can show it like this. Um, one side has my address, so that's why. But yeah, this is what I bought. Um, and honestly, it all, it all came as described. Um, I'm actually really excited. Uh, that's kind of why I'm like stuttering, because I haven't really gotten to talk about isopods a whole lot on the channel. Um, I am going to eventually show off my other species. In fact, you can kind of see this in shot this right here these bins that are like off to the side right here like right next to my bed um they're big isopod bins um for breeding three particular cubara species that i've done particularly well with um but yeah i'd honestly rate this as like a pretty positive experience um and i'd recommend you guys go check them out i'll put a link to their website below in the description um yeah, I, I will definitely be buying from them again. I was hoping to get a, um, the Q-Bars SP Daxons, um, like a five count of those, but um, they are sold out and they were in stock when I was looking at making this order, but I wanted to, I'd rather get two species instead of just one because of the total. Because um, with them being a relatively new species, they are kind of expensive, um, which I say that, but, like, my snakes are, like, on par, per singular snake, on par with the value of some of these, like, five counts of isopods. But, nonetheless, um, I will definitely be buying from them again. I'll probably buy some more opals to augment my opal count, because I just recently got there set up to an optimal stage where, um, it has a proper amount of ventilation to humidity, and I'll just be mimicking that on the bins I'm using, um, yeah, expect more isopod videos too. Like I said, I'm I'm gonna be making those. There's um a fun little announcement video I'll probably film today too. But yeah, positive experience from tropical isopods. I do recommend them. They have a lot of great variety for a good price, and they come really well packaged. I'll see you guys in the next video.